Do you have any snow plows there? Yeah. <laughs> or many people. Yeah, I wonder how the camel's doing that, yeah. you know? Hmm. We <laughs> thought we had problems, No Katie. kidding, yeah, I mean, it just blows your mind. You start thinking, like, well, yeah, how would you deal? It's kind of like seeing the snow that fell on some of the palm trees down in South Carolina with that last storm that came in. I mean, anything can technically happen, but it is very rare. And we look at the wide zoom here, a nice nationwide look for you here. We just mentioned that storm moving into California. Think about it, with all the wildfires that had taken place, the ground it's just parched that there's no vegetation to stop the runoff of the water and the mudslides. So scary stuff for those folks. Meanwhile, there is a batch of moisture starting to gather some strength and organization very far to our south with time. Some of that moisture comes from this place. We'll see a new storm system take shape and head our way into the tail end of the week. So we're taking you all the way to Thursday at this point, but it's late Thursday night and into Friday where we end up with rain. It will have warmed up substantially by then, so we'll end up with just rain. But Friday is the warmest day. It's also the day that requires the umbrella the most and as this rolls through cold air on its heels this should move through swiftly enough that central western pa get in on some snow and maybe some icing but here it should make an exit relatively quickly you could see some leftover icing in the farthest north and west suburbs come saturday but I think generally here in Philadelphia, it's just some rain and then it should be getting out of here and it should also be getting out of here in time for the Eagles playoff game too. So that's helpful news, at least as the, as the timing currently stands. So we'll let you know if that should change, but it is sunny in the meantime. Today, we're all the way up to 43 degrees. The problem is that initially until at least late this morning, you're going to have to contend with the, the assumption at least that things are still quite icy out there. And if anything melts and doesn't totally dry up today, it could refreeze again tonight as the temperature drops back down to 25. Looking forward though, check this out 60 on Friday. That's early April standards, folks, but the rain will be with us Saturday. Things are starting to clear out, but also cooling down and Sunday.